In today's video, we are going to derive the formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Let's say that we have here a sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Yun yung ibig sabihin na itong ellipses na to, ibig sabihin itong sequence na to ay forever. Pero ang binigay lang sa atin ay itong 1, 2, 3, 4, first 4 terms, which is 2, 5, 8, and 11. Masabi natin na arithmetic sequence yan dahil merong common difference. Para maging 5 si 2, nag-add ng 3. Para maging 8 si 5, nag-add ng 3. Para maging 11 si 8, nag-add din ng 3. And so on. Another way to find the common difference is to subtract a term by the term preceding it. So 11 minus 8 is also 3. 8 minus 5 is also 3. 5 minus 2 is also 3. So merong common difference which is 3. Ibig sabihin sigurado na tayo na yung given natin ay arithmetic sequence. Now, paano tayo makakahanap ng formula sa nth term gamit itong sequence na to? What we mean by nth term is basically any term that you can think of. So, n can be any number. It can be 5. So, fifth term. Ibig sabihin, panlimang term sa sequence na to. It can be 6th term, 7th term, 10th term, 100th term, kahit anong term pa na maiisip mo. Now, to do that, pwede ka namang magpatuloy na lang sa pagbibilang. Because you know the common difference already. So, you can just keep on adding 3 to achieve the term that you want. So, if let's say if you want to have the nth term, the fifth term, let's say. So, para makuha yung panlima, add ka na lang ng 3. Nandun ka na sa panlima. Gusto mo ng pampito? Go ahead. Gusto mo ng pang sampo, then keep on adding 3. Then, convenient lang kasi yung paraan na yun kung malapit lang hinahanap mo. Kung mababa lang yung n dito sa nth term. Paano kung ang pinahanap na is the 100th term or the 300th term? Paano na natin gagawin yun? Maybe hindi na ganong convenient na mag-add ng mag-add ng 3. So maybe you could use a formula. Kailangan natin mag-derive ng formula. Paano yun natin gagawin? So, let's say, A sub 1 is 2. Obviously, siya yung unang naisulat. A sub 2 will be 5. Dahil siya yung pangalawang naisulat. Pero, kaya naging 5 because you added 3 dun sa 2. Again, 3 is your common difference. Your common difference. Yun yung in mo para makuha yung mga kasunod na term. So, para maging a sub 2, which is your second term, nag-add ka ng 3 dun sa 2. Ayun, nakuha natin yung 5. Para maging 8 naman, which is our a sub 3, yung third term natin. Nag-add lang tayo ng 3 dun sa 5. Kaya naging 8. And then, para makuha ko itong 11th term, which is my fourth term, a sub 4, nag-add lang ulit ako ng 3 kay 8. 8 plus 3 will give us 11. Yun and then I could keep on going para mahanap ko yung nth term. Pero, pwede natin tong isulat in symbol. Punta tayo dito sa kabilang side. So again, we have a sub 1, our first term. Then, a sub 2. Tawagin din natin siyang a sub 1. a sub 1 is equal to a sub 1. Ayos lang yun. Ginago lang natin yung itsura ni 2 because we're trying to derive for a general formula. Yung formula na magagamit natin anytime para maghanap ng any number of n 
a end term to find any term actually the a sub 1 is equal to a sub 1 yun to ginawa kong a sub 1 nothing wrong here nothing complicated I rewrite ko lang and then in a sub 2 instead of writing 2 plus 3 we can say that find a sub 2 nag add tayo ng nag add tayo ng t which is our common difference common difference in add natin siya dun sa first term which is again 2 again binabago ko lang itsura How about the third term? Third term denoted as a sub 3. Nakuha natin yun by adding 3. Again, d. Dun sa ating second term. Which is a sub 2. Now, pansin na yung a sub 2 dyan. Pwede kong i-rewrite as this guy. Which is a sub 1 plus d. Hindi ba't yun din naman siya? a sub 2 is also a sub 1 plus d. The first term added by your common difference. Ang tayo ng n. And a sub 2 is also a sub 1 plus d. And to get the third term, you add 3, which is your common difference, to a sub 2. Ibig sabihin, plus D yan to get the third term. A sub 1 plus D, your second term, added by D again, which is the common difference. That's how you find the third term. And notice that you can actually simplify this. Magsamahin mo dalawang D, so you now have A sub 1 plus 2 D. Bakit naging 2 D? Kasi dalawa na hindi mo. Nagsama mo lang in like terms, which is in this case, your variable d. So, 1d plus 1d is 2d. How about the fourth term? We have a sub 4. That's how we denote the fourth, fourth term, which is, we all know, 11. Para magawa yun, nag-add ka lang ulit ng d, yung common difference, dun sa naunang term, which is your third term, na dininote natin as a sub 1 plus 2d. a sub 1 plus d. Again, you can simplify. Pagsamahin mo like term, so meron kang a sub 1 plus, this time, 2d plus d is 3d. And then, I could keep on going. Pero, siguro sapat na to para mapansin natin na habang nagpapatuloy tayo sa paghanap ng sumunod na term, yung coefficient nitong d natin, dito 3, dito naman 2, is 1 less our nth term. So, pansinin na sa ating 4th term. Nung hinanap natin si 4th term, Yung coefficient, yung number na katabi ni D, is 3. So that is 1 less than your fourth, fourth term. Or minus 1 is 3. Dito naman, the third term is A sub 3. Yung coefficient, yung number na katabi ni D, is 2. That is 3 minus 1. Then kung iisipin itong second term, yung D mo, may coefficient din naman. Hindi nga lang kita kasi 1 yun hindi na natin nilalagay yung 1 kung numerical coefficient siya because any number multiplied by 1 is still the number itself pero pwede natin isulat muna para maipakita na para maging 1 nag-subtract ka ng 1 kay 2 your nth term minus 1 your nth term minus 1 your nth term minus 1 so maybe from here we can derive a new formula for the nth term, which is, what's common here is you always take the first term, a sub 1, a sub 1, a 
sa bun. Pwede kong ilagay na yung dito. Added by. Again. Second term, nag-minus ka ng 1 sa 2. Third term, nag-minus ka ng 1 sa 3. Fourth term, nag-minus ka ng 1 sa 4. So maybe to generalize that, you can simply say n minus 1 multiplied by d. Yung coefficient ng d mo, yung common difference mo, is always n less 1. Always 1 less than your n, which is your number of term. Palaging, one, palaging minus 1. So kung hahanapin mo, let's say, is si 7th term, so n will be a sub 7, n will be 7, because you're now looking for the 7th term, so that will be a sub 1 plus 7 minus 1, because n again is 7, parehas lang, hindi natin binago. Kung ano man yung n sa a sub n, yun din yung n mo dito sa loob ng parenthesis. So 7 minus 1 multiplied by d. Try nga natin yan para mahanap yung 7th term nitong original sequence natin. We have 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Gusto natin mahanap yung pang pito. So we're trying to look for a sub 7. It's the 7th term. To do that, alam natin na kailangan natin yung first term, yung a sub 1, which is in this example's case is 2. Tapos add natin yung n minus 1. Dapat siguro dito ako nag-connect. Natin. Nice. Bura, 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 bura. Dito tayo mag-connect sa general formula natin. Yan. Para mas makita natin. So, a sub 7 ang hinahanap because we're looking for, yun yung a sub n natin because we're looking for the 7th term. So, equals 2, that's our first term, plus n minus 1. n here is 7. Kung ano yung maliit na number sa tabi ni a, yun din yung n sa loob ng parenthesis. So, we have 7 minus 1 and then multiplied by d which is our common difference. In this example's case, 3 yung common difference natin. We could keep on going. Simplify natin yan. Nahin natin itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. 7 minus 1 will give us 6. Then, multiply daw sa 3. Simplify ulit natin. 6 times 3 will give us 18. Then, simplifying further, 2 plus 18 will give us 20. Ibig sabihin yung pang pitong term, kapag pinagpatuloy ko to, is... 20. Pwede natin i-double check by skip counting. So, 11 plus 3 will give us 12, 13, 14. Purahin muna natin to. Hindi siya sobrang black. Purahin natin. Yan. Pwede natin, ha? Napin natin yung 7th term. Check natin kung tama, kung 20 talaga. So, 11 plus 3 will give us 14 plus 3 ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our 5th term. A sub 5. A sub 6 will be 14 plus 3 which is 17. Add ulit tayo ng 3. We'll have A sub 7. 17 plus 3 is guess what? 20. Kagaya nung nakuha natin dito while using this formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by this is the general formula on finding the nth term means hindi mo na kailangan mag skip count mag keep on adding the common difference para makuha yung number of term na gusto mo Kung gusto mo ng 100 term you simply substitute 100 dun sa n. Kung mahanap yung 300 term, substitute 300. 
dun sa n. You can always find your n term. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Kung may part na nahirapan ka o nalito ka, let me know in the comment section.